delicious. What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 18 Road to Glory episode number 55 today and I apologize for such a massive break between the last episode and this episode and I apologize for how delayed we are on the series right now but today guys we are going to be coming into our last two games of the recordings from last week's foot champions and um, yeah then we're going to get straight into this week's one as well. I'm going to try and speed up the recordings so hopefully we can come back to being on schedule. I've just been really busy over the past couple of days and um, yeah, it's been interesting. But right here guys, we're coming up into our second last match of last week's recordings and um, as you guys would have seen, we are 23 and 8. Not the best sort of record, not the record we would want to be on, but um, Neymar is going to get the scoring off to a brilliant start and I have been absolutely loving this Neymar card. I think he's phenomenal. The only problem he's really lacking is his um, strength and that's kind of what the team of the year Ronaldo is because I feel like Neymar is the most agile player probably in the game, maybe close second to Lozano, but the team of the year Ronaldo has the strength but he doesn't, and he also has the agility. I feel like the normal Ronaldo doesn't have the agility anymore, and that's why I really wanted to feel. I didn't want to feel sluggish and slow on the ball, and that's really why I picked up this Neymar card. And as you can see, he just has enough um, composure and enough agility to skip away from the defender, threading a through ball into Vieira, and... Um, Patrick Vieira, of course, the big boy, is going to make that 3-0. And uh, we're going to wrap up the game right here. Another goal. Um, this time, Suarez passing the ball off to Rui Costa. And Rui Costa is going to make that 4-0. And that's going to incite a rage quit. So a very, very convincing game. And I'm actually really, really enjoying the gameplay with this team. The only real lacking part is the strength factor. And I don't think this is really too big of an issue. Especially if you are coming up against lesser teams. It's only if you come up against the teams that have... Now Desai in the back with Rio Ferdinand and you have Petit and um, Vieira. It's just, um, it's so, so hard to break down. And uh, those are the really the only games I've really had issues with. But besides that, I haven't really had too many issues scoring um, last week and this week. And I think it's been absolutely phenomenal. Now right here, guys, you are going to be seeing us open up our gold three squad battles rewards. And uh, that is 12,000 coins plus 215k packs. So I'll happily take that. But unfortunately, guys, the pre-order packs have run out. So we no longer get that extra 15k pack that we would have got um, every single Monday. Which is a bit unfortunate, but what can you do? You can't really ask too much from EA. And they gave us what we asked for. We, get, we got 20 weeks of 15k packs and we were happily able to take them. So that's what happened. And guys, unfortunately for us, our... Squad Battles rewards didn't really pay out at all, which is not too big of a deal. Right here, guys, we are coming up into our last game of last week's matches. And um, this was against Bilbo Baggins, a very, very um, formidable opponent. And unfor uh, unfortunately for him, he actually ended up going 3-0 down in the first half, I believe. As you can see there, Rui Costa slotting that one away to make it 1-0. A pretty decent run from Rui, and um, uh, he's coming up clutch again. Uh, right here, we get the ball tackled there with Vieira. Vieira being an absolute tank in that midfield. And he's able to thread that ball over to Messi. Messi's going to slot that ball over to Neymar. And uh, once again, Neymar's going to find Rui. And Rui's going to tuck that one home again. And I know a lot of people don't really like Rui. And Rui's like just kind of like... Everyone doesn't really appreciate Rui as much. And I don't think I do that either. It's just because of his finishing. Sometimes he'll miss some stuff that you expect him to score. Neymar squeezing that in far post. What a finish there. But, um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I actually do really like his card. It's just that it's not up to the standard of a Ronaldinho or like an Aguero. As you can see, Aguero finishing that perfectly right there. Um, or like a Ronaldo or something. So we will eventually want to slowly move away from Rui Costa. Maybe to a striker Ronaldo. That'd be great if we can manage to pull him in our Elite 1 monthlies. That's if we get Elite 1 monthlies. But we are finishing off pretty, pretty strong. As you guys will see, 3-2 was the final score against Bilbo Baggins. He probably deserved it, to be honest, with more shots and more shots on targets. Um, but we managed to hold out the win. And that's all you needed to know. And we managed to finish again on 30 wins and 10 losses. Just like last weekend. And... Um, um, 
that actually puts us four games ahead of the curve. So we can afford a 25 finish, and then we would need another 28 finish to get Elite 1 monthlies. Now, what I'm really, really hoping that we can do is elite, at least get Elite 3. That is the goal. As long as we get Elite 3, we get 12 red informs to potentially pack something great. Now, of course, we would love something even better, like Elite 2 or Elite 1. And um, I'll probably try and push for that, but I don't know. It depends on how my whole mental set on my home, like how I'm feeling throughout the weekend, whether or not I actually want to play the games or not. So we'll have to see about that. But to be fair, I'm pretty happy with 30 wins, considering that we were down in the slumps throughout the midweek. Um, we were able to bring it back, and that's all good. Right here, guys, we are going to be opening up those weekend league rewards that you just saw that we managed to finish. And that includes 70,000 coins, 100, one 100k pack, and one team of the week pack that we won't be opening and I just think that's because that there aren't too many players that I really, really would want to pack. And it's not a very balanced team of the week. There's just Ronaldo and Aguero up the top. And then besides that, there aren't that too many other players. But that being said, guys, of course, we're going to sell on some of our players. We're going to sell on Alaba. As you guys would have seen just then, he's been in the club for over 900 games. And um, he's been a very, very influential player for us. But we're going to list him up for 56,000 coins and get those coins back. Now, I'm absolutely loving Alex Tellers at that left back position. And I think he does just as good as a job as Alaba. So um, that's why I'm happy to offload him. The other player we're going to be offloading is a bit controversial. But it's going to be Leon Goretzka. And I actually adore this card. It's just because... Fabinho gets the link to Neymar, so I don't need this card anymore. And it's a bit disappointing, don't get me wrong. But... um. It's sad to see this one go, man. We're going to make a tasty bit of profit off this Leon Goretzka. Probably about forty to 50,000 coins. And as you guys will see right there, he did sell for 264,000 coins, bringing us up to a grand total of 525,000 coins. And looking at my team now, guys, I think there's only one real player we have to go for. Well, there's two. There's two real players, but I don't know which one to go for first. The second one is going to take a lot more coins. The first one is obviously buyback Ronaldo. Um, I eventually do want to get him back in the team, and I think he's going to be great once he comes back into the team, especially alongside Neymar and, and Suarez and Messi. I think that front four is going to be unbelievable, but um, I'm not too sure how to do the chemistry. But the second player, the second player, guys, is going to be the boy. Rude Hullet 90 version, and I think this card is going to be great. Right here, we're doing the SBCs for the Milwaukee matchups, and I don't think we made too many coins of selling off players, but... Um, You'll see from the packs, we actually did manage to do a pretty nice job. But as I was saying, guys, I've been playing with this 90 Hula card in the E-League. If you guys haven't know, uh, didn't know, I'm representing the Mariners for the E-League. So that's why I've been playing with the card. And he is phenomenal. He dictates the midfield. And I actually want him at that central, mid, uh, central cam position. So... The goal from here on now is to build up 2.7 more million coins. And go pick up ourselves a 90 Hullet at that central cam. We can play Messi and Neymar out wide. And Suarez can go at the striker position. Eventually getting replaced with Ronaldo or someone like the 94... R9, or maybe even a 96 R9. This is the long-term goal, guys. We, of course, the road to glory is a grind, but we do want to try out these meta amazing players. And I think our defense is really good now. I think our midfield's pretty decent, and our attack is pretty decent as well. There's just a few things lacking here and there, but um, uh, Ronaldo and Hullet, that's the goal. That's the goal. That's what we're trying to aim for. And um, I definitely, definitely think we can probably get there if we put in an effort, put in a grind, and see how we go. But um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be effort. It's gonna be a struggle, of course. Uh, I think a lot of people are equal in this, uh, like this thought of FIFA 18 right now. After the new patch, I don't think Weekend League has been doing too well, so it's a bit unfortunate. But what can you do? Right here, we're gonna get an inform from one of our uh, one rare player pack. So we got one rare out of 12. And we get an 86 rated Crammer uh, Rich that is actually going to sell for 51,000 coins. Now, guys, there was only one rare in the pack. One rare. Make sure you keep an eye on that because we actually get two informs in the same pack. That dude is supposed to be a silver non-rare. 
but we managed to get another inform in the same pack. How crazy is that pack? I was absolutely going mental at that point. I was like, whoa, that's nuts. That's absolutely stupid. And then right away, straight in the next pack, we're going to get ourselves another board, another inform. It's going to be Argentinian, and no, it's not Aguero. It's going to be the left back, but... um. I did get pretty excited when I saw the Argentinian flag. I was like, no way, is that Aguero? It's not Aguero. It was, it was, I don't even want to try and pronounce that name because I know I'm, I'm, I'm going to get that wrong. But um, to be fair, guys, that pack luck, that three string of uh, the two packs to get three informs, amazing. Absolutely crazy. And I'll happily, happily take it. And we're going to actually sell on that Kramerich dude because I believe his price absolutely dropped once the Lunar New Year stuff came in. So you guys will be seeing that next episode. There'll be a whole bunch of Lunar New Year stuff. And um, I think it'll be pretty, pretty exciting right here. We're going to get Mario Mandzukic in a pack. Pretty decent. Not the worst, not the best. We'll happily take him. And um, he's going to go through an SBC later down the line. But there's a lot of stuff going to be happening over the next couple of episodes for the Road to Glory. We've got a lot of SBCs to get through because, of course, EA have been dropping SBCs for the Lunar New Year. And on top of that, guys, on top of that, we also have a lot of Foot Champs matches to get through and um, a lot of packs to open. There's going to be development on the team, development on the Road to Glory in general. And hopefully, you guys are a bit excited. I don't know. I think Hullet should be our next purchase. I don't know if it's going to be feasible or not, but um, hopefully in one or two months we should be able to get that Hullet card. That's going to be a very, very um, wantable goal, I think. I think that card is great. There's nothing weak about that card, and he's going to be dominant in that central attacking mid position. Right here, guys, you will see that Kramerich did sell for 51,000 coins, putting us up to 580,000 coins. And, uh, yeah, we're going to come up into our first game of the Weekend League for this weekend. And, um, as you guys will see, we come up against a pretty, pretty standard BPL team. However, this team was so hard to break down. You'll see that I'm already on, he's already on 10 men. And, uh, we get a nice finish there by Neymar. But then, unfortunately for us, he gets one counter attack. And you guys will see the stats afterwards. I was dominating this dude. I was absolutely throwing the kitchen sink. And for him to score that, I was just a bit deflated. And, um, it, it really took a toll. It really took a toll on us. There was a lot of stuff I was trying to do. And right here, guys, who else but Chucky Lozano in the 120th minute sweats the ball over to Suarez. And uh, we're going to win this one 2-1. It was a bit of a struggle, but um, we were able to win the game in the 120th minute. I don't know what it was, that game. I don't know what it was, but I just did not touch FIFA for the rest of that night. It was Friday night, and... Um, Probably not the best idea because I still have quite a few games left to do and it's only Sunday. So um, I have quite a few games. But as you guys will see there, my keeper made one save. His Begovic made 19 saves. 19 saves. What the heck are you supposed to do against that? We only managed to win that 2-1. And as you guys can see, the possession, the shots, the shots on target, the passing accuracy, the shot accuracy, everything was in our favor. And we only just barely win that with a sweat from Lozano. So... FIFA's in a rough position, man. It's in a rough position, but there's not much you can really do about it. You just have to try and grind through it, see if you can get the rewards and benefit your team. But that's going to wrap it up for this episode, guys. Let me know what you think of our decision for the next player in our team. I think currently right now we're sitting on about 600k, so there's definitely a very, very long way to go to get a Ronaldo or a Hullet. But um, I think that probably is the next move in our team. Maybe replacing Kimmich and Boateng. I don't know entirely. Let me know down in the comments. What would you do? What is the next step you would take um, to bettering this team? I would really, really like to know. And um, so make sure you leave those down in the comment section down below. And um, I definitely will be reading that. But that's going to wrap it up for this episode, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to smash a big old thumbs up. Drop a subscribe down below and leave a comment as always. But until next time, guys, I'll see you guys in the next FIFA 18 Road to Glory episode. So you guys, see you guys next time and peace. Okay.